two, two and then the three, three, three and then the four, four. Then you gotta breathe. Three, one and then the two, two, two and then the three, three, three and then the four, four. Then you gotta breathe. Three, then you gotta. Uh, then you gotta. Uh, uh, so he is the Daisy King of Poverty, and he are here to see it tonight, folks. Give it up for Russell Pio. Hey, give it up for Anu Kara, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for Anu. And give it up for that for that uh, new shirt he just bought. <laughs> Still has the fucking creases in it. You see that shit? <laughs> like he took it out of the box. It was like doing, doing. Yo, you like my new shirt? I didn't notice. You know. But what's happening, New York? You guys all right? All right. A lot of confusion happening in the back there. I can hear it. All right, you guys are late. Can we get you anything, like a fucking watch or something? I don't know. I... All right, back in New York, man. I love it out here. I was in Boston last night. I know it's fucked up. I, I have a jacket. I have a blue jacket. I don't know any. Let me tell you, I don't know anything about baseball, right? But I know that I was wearing blue shoes and blue jeans, so I'll put on a blue jacket. I had a Yankees jacket, and I'm walking around Boston. And. Uh, and apparently they really take this baseball shit real serious over there. Because I'm walking to the mall and I don't know why people are pointing at me. And one man's walking with his son and goes, Why don't you walk with that fucking guy over there? Why don't you walk with... <laughs> I like coming to New York. New Yorkers are always mad. You guys are mad for no reason. <laughs> always pissed off. It's, it's the holiday season. Just mad. Everyone's just walking around angry all the time. I'm not from here. I asked a dude today. I was like, excuse me, do you have to get to the uh, subway? He's like, do I look like a fucking tour guide? <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, officer, but I thought maybe... <laughs> All kinds of Indian people in here. That's good, man. I yeah. see you got some white dudes, too. Hey. <laughs> Very happy white dudes, too. I tell you that. Somewhere in Queens, there's a dollar store closed early tonight. This is not good. <laughs> I knew there'd be a lot of Indian people in here tonight. I've seen all the empty cabs in the front of the club. <laughs> it's nice, man. I love coming out here. I was in Texas a few weeks ago. Texas. You in Texas? All right, we're not there now, motherfucker. You know what I mean? <laughs> that shit freaks me out in Texas, man, because there's white dudes dressed like cowboys out there. Like, not like, you know, put on a couple of cowboy shits. They the whole cowboy and they're not gay they just dress like that you know what I mean they just I seen a dude he had like them fucking tight wrangler jeans and nut huggers you know what I mean and cowboy boots and the big buckle and <laughs> bigger than this <laughs> bigger than WWF this guy with that thing and I don't know how you could be cool wearing clothes from the 1800s he's walking around like it's 2004 how the fuck are you walking around in clothes from the 1800s like this shit is cool, you know? You don't see me flying around on a magic carpet anymore, you know? man. I'm not walking around in curly-toed slippers. No, I'm chilling. I'm here right now. Oh, man. So I met you guys already before. It's a big birthday group right here in the front. That's uh, it's, uh, it's uh, one of their birthdays. That's right. He's right there. Yeah, he's 18. I, uh, hers too, that's right. They're from, uh, o, o, what's it called? Owigsburg or something shit? Uh, they're, from, they're from a town called Owigsburg. <laughs> and they're like bragging about it too. We're from, we're from Owigsburg, Pennsylvania. Oh, f fuck, I'm sorry. I, uh... <laughs> and right after they said it, I think I swear God, and when they said it, I think I heard in the background, <laughs> right in the back, after they said it. we're from Owigsburg. <laughs> Owigsburg. And you guys came from India and moved to fucking Owigsburg. <laughs> like, how did you do it? We are leaving India. <laughs> let's go. Let's play it. Spin the map. Come on. <laughs> oh, shit.
<sighs> All kinds of different Indians in here tonight, man. That's cool. See, for the white folks, they just think Indians are just Indians. You know what I mean? Like, hey, you say something in Indian. <laughs> Ever have somebody say something? Hey, teach me something in Indian. I'm like, which language? <laughs> you know, Indian. <laughs> that's when you just start going. Burp, 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 burp. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's really good, man. We're gonna do. Burp, 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 burp. <laughs> so many languages we have, man. Four or five hundred languages. We have. Tons of them over there. Some of the languages freak me out in India, man. India, see, India is like one of those countries where from the north to the south, it's like a color chart. You know what I mean? When you're up in the north, the people are a lot lighter. And as you move through the country, you know, people get darker and darker. You reach the south, and there's some black motherfuckers down there. You know what I mean? like, the south Indians can get where they take that black shit too seriously, man. Like, not like black, like black, blacker than black people black. You know what I mean? Like to the point where black people walk past and go, God damn, you black as shit, man. You know I mean? I see one Tamil dude, man. The guy was so black, his shadow was confused. You know what I mean? Do I follow you or do you follow me? What the fuck is going on right now? And you got all those languages from the north to the south, everything's so different, you know what I mean? Anybody here that can speak Tamil, I'm impressed, man. Woo! Woo! That's a, that's just such a, it's a, to me, that sounds like the hardest Indian language to learn, because it's, it's so fast, you know? It sounds like, when they're speaking, it probably sounds like one continuous word, you know what I mean? It, there's no breaks in the sentence. Just, they sound like auctioneers when they're talking, you know? <laughs> Sold. <laughs> Sound like pinball machines, you know? But 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 ding 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 ding. Oh look, a free game. <laughs> to me, Gujarati has to be the indiest. He's indiest. <laughs> has to be like the easiest Indian. I shut up. We're not. You know. All right, you hold it down, motherfuckers. <laughs> so retarded. <laughs> This fucking Buddha language. <laughs> Such a loser. I can't speak that. Man, a dumb shit was that. Uh, good Jurati people, man. Your language, you know, and you're the cheapest motherfuckers in India too. You know that, right? Like, I mean, we're cheap enough on the whole. You know what I mean? Then Gujarati people taking that extra mile, you know what I mean? I seen one dude trying to bargain his way into the show tonight. He rolled up with a goat. I will give you this goat. If you let me. It's a good goat. Milk, cheese, eggs, everything. There's no fucking eggs in a goat. This one has eggs. This goat will be your lifeline. Trust to me. <laughs> such an easy language to learn, man. White dudes, you can learn how to speak Gujarati. It's such an easy. All you have to do is learn. All you have to do is add cho or che to the end of any sentence, <laughs> and you're speaking it. Kem cho su che su kabe che su che. They love that ch 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 sound. Even when they swear cho du cha 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 cha. 